Hey, now is Anthony with ANA Professional Services. And before we get this video started, go ahead and join the New Wave Facebook group. Remember this vehicle from last week? I was here last Sunday at like 7, uh, like 7.20 a.m. Now it's like 8.10 a.m. The following Sunday, out here to do this vehicle again uh, and do a one-step paint correction. And this one here, is just a full detail. Um, in the last video, or it's the video called uh, From Car Washer to Detailer. And in that video, I was telling them, telling you guys that I was going to get the customer to see if they wanted to get the swirls taken out. Um, now, I can't guarantee that I'll get 100% of the swirls out. It's going to be a, a quick one-step paint correction. Uh, what I did was I did the fender form to show them what it would look like. Right now, it doesn't look like it has any swirls because the sun is not out. So let's get into it. out the foam cannon uh like i said before i don't use the foam cannon all the time like i love the foam cannon awesome creation keeps the car slick reduces scratching and marring and everything like that uh but when you got a three gallon per minute pressure washer and you only got a hundred gallon tank and you're doing these large vehicles uh you got to conserve your water so I've used a foam cannon, of course, you're gonna be using more water. Uh, but I use it in this case because I'm only gonna be doing these two and that's gonna be it for me today. All right now, so I'm done with the wash. The clay and wash, actually. Uh, it was really easy to clean because I washed it last week. Vehicle's still pretty much clean. Um, but before I get back to it, I want to say this. You new detailers, detailers that are starting out or that wants to start doing this, don't let the elder detailers and the more experienced detailers intimidate you. And what I mean by that is don't let their knowledge and what they know and what they're doing make you feel like you can't do the same thing because they got more experience than you and more knowledge than you and they charge more than you. Don't let that intimidate you. Um, they wasn't born detailers. They didn't come out their mama's womb as detailers. They had to learn. At some point, they was just like you. They didn't know it all. They had to learn and figure it out. When people say I started from the bottom and worked my way up, it simply means that they started from not knowing anything. They started without anything. When you're at the bottom, you don't know much. You're making mistakes. You, you think you're doing things right and you're not. You're figuring out as you go along. You're going to have the same experiences. But now we live in an information age where there's so much information on YouTube and on social media. And soak up as much as you can. But get out here and use that knowledge and get out here and apply it and, and make it work for you. Don't let them intimidate you because they're just like you. They're human. And a lot of you guys, if you notice, a lot of them that's supposed to have all this knowledge they get complacent and they just stay stagnant and they don't move any further and you can see a lot of them been doing it for 30 years but they still doing it for 30 years 
Um, I've seen people pass him in three. I've seen people pass him in five years. So always keep learning. Don't let these experienced elder detailers intimidate you. I'm telling you, they only know what they know. Just that simple. They still learning themselves. They don't know everything. It came out uh, just a little bit. I'm gonna get close. But a lot of the swirls, a lot of the marring that y'all saw last week, it's gone. It's just with a one step now. I'll tell y'all what I use, it's 3D1. I'll grab the bottom in a second. It's 3D1, it's a compound polish mix. So it's actually a really a two step. But uh, for like daily drivers, it's my go-to because you know they're not chasing perfection they don't they don't they, they don't care about it being perfect um because you know they know they're going to run it through the car wash and all that type of stuff it's just you know every now and again they just want that little pop but here's the bottle 3d1 just go to amazon somewhere i mean y'all know how to find stuff just go to this is what it is y'all see it cutting compound and finishing polish delivers true paint correction y'all try it out
All right, y'all. All done with the wash. Wash clay, spray wax. And I'm about to make my way into the interior. Uh, but that they was happy with the Cadillac. Turned out nice. Uh, I wish the sun was out so you can actually see uh, the difference. Um, the sun came out a little bit and I kind of tried to show it, but it is what it is. But the thing is, is a lot of you new guys, when y'all starting off, y'all gonna be chasing perfection. You may have to do that in some cases. Some people be more particular about their vehicle. And it's usually people with the high-end vehicles or they got their little toys or a car that, that's been in the family for years. And it's like a family heirloom or a collector's item or something like that. They'll be chasing perfection. But the thing about it is those cars usually are not bad to begin with. So it's easy to get their version of perfection. But that's another thing that intimidates a lot of y'all. Some of the cars that we do are pretty much in well-kept, good condition. So it doesn't take much to make them pop. It doesn't take much to make them shine, to make them look good. It doesn't take much to get a stain out. And it can be intimidating because the detailer can always make it seem that everything he touches is just, he just gets every stain out, wipes everything off. I mean, every swirl, every scratch comes out. That's not the case. Uh, it's rough out here. Sometimes it don't come out. Sometimes you're not happy with it. I mean, I can spend hours on a car chasing perfection and I'm still not satisfied. And the customer comes out like, oh my God. And I'm like, wow. Like, So I've learned to just figure out what the customer wants and give that to them. Uh, if I see things that that's bothering me, I'll try to fix it. But if the customer doesn't care about it, I don't try to spend too much time on it. I don't spend too much time worrying about it. This is a business. You're out here to, you know, to turn a profit as well. So you can't be out here all day chasing perfection. I've seen a lot of guys talk about it takes them this long to do a detail. It takes them that long to do that. And I'm like, that's crazy. There's no way. I remember just some guy one time was talking about on YouTube somewhere. I can't remember. This was years ago. But he talked about spending like 12 to 16 hours doing a full detail on the car. Like he was talking about taking the tires off and all that. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, and I don't think customers want you in their driveway taking tires off and taking a car apart to properly, properly detail it. Keep it simple. It's all K-I-S, KISS. Keep it simple. You know, in the military, they used to say K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, they was rough on, rough on me in the military. But I learned that in the military, man. Keep it simple. At the end of the day, you just clean the car. Two details. The first one was a exterior. The Denali was a standard detail. Y'all actually saw that like that red Kool-Aid stain. Well, I never tried to attempt to get those out. I mean, I've been detailing for years and I've never been able to get a red drink spill out of the vehicle. It's not going anywhere. Um, the only thing you could do is clean it the best way you can and dye it because it's dye, it's not going anywhere dye is made to be permanent so it's not unless you want to spray some bleach or something on it i've never been able to get them out and i'm pretty sure the customer understands that uh I'm, and i actually explained it to him before the detail um but again like like i was telling y'all don't chase perfection all the time it's not worth it uh chase what the customer wants and if the customer's expectations are unrealistic, then you have to explain to them uh, what's going on. Like, if you can get it out, if you can't get it out. Uh, but again, 
Don't let that intimidate you, all right? All you're doing is cleaning cars. At the end of the day, you're cleaning cars. You can call yourself a detailer, car washer, whatever you want to call yourself. But at the end of the day, you're cleaning the vehicle. It's no different than cleaning your house. Sometimes when you clean your house, a certain stain ain't coming out, all right? Some detailers will make you believe that they get everything out. They're lying to you. They're not getting everything out. So don't get discouraged. Keep pushing forward. For you guys on the fence that's thinking about doing this, go ahead and do it. Trust me, to change your life. All right? I went from charging $20 to having $500 days, $1,000 days, $2,000 days. It's possible. Y'all can do it. Till next time, shouts out to the new wave. Peace.